the idea is that engineering as it's traditionally taught is not necessarily focused on areas such as art. And there are two different fields that are viewed as being distinct from one another. But engineering and physics principles are found in the area of arts. And so what we try to do is expand the area in which engineering is taught in fields such as music and painting and sculpture in order to really open and expand the, the concept of students' understanding of engineering. The class was oriented to the fact that, you know, say we were going to go to an opera that night, we would have a lecture on singing or we would have a lecture on string instruments. We would have the orchestra that night. So it always felt like there was something to do and something to look forward to. So I, I really enjoyed it. I would definitely want to do it again. And it was a great experience. It was really cool learning super far away from home in a new environment. Our classroom especially was uh, something really unique to the experience. We were right on the river, so every morning we could look outside and just see this entire new culture and all the buildings and all the history outside of our classroom. I didn't realize that art was so heavily influenced on engineering and vice versa learning what I did through these lectures and the walking tours and the museum visits. I feel like I've just skyrocketed my knowledge about anything art related as well as anything engineering related and how they, how both of them intertwine. There's a lot of history on the history of engineering and science and technology and I didn't realize how much had developed during the Renaissance and a lot of the lectures were focused on that in terms of history where a lot of the tours were just the Renaissance in general. So the lectures were really great paired with all the experiences we did because it was so focused on our experiences. Even with the stringed and bowed instruments, we went to orchestra that night. And the entire time you're watching it, you're thinking about how the musical instruments work and how they make music. And I've been to a lot of symphonies and a lot of orchestras, but I've never sat and experienced it in the same way. Being away from America and being away from Auburn, it allows you to focus a little bit more. You're away from a lot of distractions and in a sense, it's kind of your only commitment. So you're definitely able to focus a lot more into the material. And then also something about being gone and in like a new spot in a new culture, it kind of brings about this desire to want to learn new things. And so I was very thankful that I was in Florence. I felt like if I'm stuck in some random building, back in the States, I wouldn't have appreciated it as much. To actually see what we were studying and actually getting to see it face to face, I think made it a lot more special. Your engineering education in a classical sense is going to teach you what you need to know to practically be a good engineer. But an experience such as this, where you go overseas, you learn engineering in a field where you might normally not expect to see it, that's gonna really help you and shape you to be a well-rounded engineer as you leave Auburn University. And I think it's going to expand your worldview in such a way that it will make you overall a better contributor to society as an engineer.